For far too many, stepping on the scales means being judged, especially by themselves. Did you know that 97% of dieters fail and that you're far more likely to gain than lose weight by dieting? And that two thirds of those with eating disorders are not clinically underweight, making their problems invisible to healthcare practitioners and often themselves. Using our sophisticated medical machines at the Calm Clinic, we can see these problems clearly. And because we can see them, we can help you better. Here's a normal metabolism, burning calories as it should. Here's fat and lean tissue. Most people believe that when they cut calories, their body will make up the deficit by burning fat, and they become frustrated and confused when this doesn't happen. Bodies respond to reduced calories in complex ways. Often the metabolism plummets, burning less calories, and the body may stock up on fat. Some bodies burn their muscles, organs, and bones for fuel. And some bodies do both. We evolved like this to help us survive food shortages. But while this happens, you'll have less energy, difficulty concentrating, among other things, and your muscles, organs and bones will lose mass. Each body is different, but with our sophisticated machines, we can see what's happening in your body, and that's why we can help you. This person has dieted on and off for years. Her metabolism has slowed, and she's put on fat. She doesn't feel great. She actually needs to eat more for a short while to get her metabolism back up to speed. Then we can help her reach her leanest, healthy and livable weight. Here's a compulsive exerciser who doesn't eat enough. He's using his muscles, bones and organs for fuel. Unlike other practitioners, we present him with empirical evidence, convincing and motivating him to start recovery. He is a binge eater. She skimps on breakfast and lunch, but can't resist her hunger at night. Her metabolism is also low, and we can see how many calories she actually needs to eat, spread out during the day, to help control her evening overeating. These are just a few cases, but many people don't fit into familiar categories. Some people look normal, but are unhealthy. And although some anorexics and bulimics look like this, others look like this, and others look like this. But people who look like this can be healthy regardless of BMI. It is very difficult to help someone if you don't know what the problem is, and most professionals do not have the resources or training to hone in on the problem. But because we can see it, we can help you.